Hi, and welcome to this very different kind of video. I figured that for this week, I would do a little vlog. I thought it would be interesting. So I just want to bring you along with me today and we can go and do stuff together. I already had lunch. It was a very sad burrito and some Cheetos. Uh, now I'm going to check some emails and check Discord and stuff. I'm still waiting for my hair to dry a little bit. This uh, It's a little wet still from my shower. So still waiting on that and then I have some errands to run so I'll take you with me to go do those and I feel like they're going to be really fun. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this type of video. I feel like I'm going to have a lot of fun recording it today. So if you want to see more real life stuff, my face, me, on the go in the world, then uh, give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. I do Animal Crossing stuff and I guess whatever this is. So uh, yeah, I will see you later when we're about to head out. So while I check my emails here, I just kind of wanted to talk about like why I wanted to do a vlog because it is pretty different from my regular content and I did put out a community poll a while back asking what kind of content you guys wanted to see on the channel if I was going to do anything besides Animal Crossing and the one that you guys voted for the most was IRL content so I am just giving what the people asked for but also on top of that i have been feeling a little bit burned out of animal crossing and lack of updates and all of that you know it takes a toll it takes its toll so i just basically want to try some new stuff i want to delve into vlogs i want to delve into doing more fun stuff for you guys and also to keep my sanity so i can you know have fun working on multiple things not just animal crossing so yeah hope that makes sense Okay, now I want to pick out my outfit because trust me when I say this is like a hour process. <laughs> no, I'm exaggerating. It takes me a bit. I, I just never know what to wear. So I guess I'll take you with me. Really, I just have like, I don't know. It feels like I have too much to pick from, but at the same time, like not enough, you know? And honestly, as much as I want to pick like something cute and put together and like, I don't know, put multiple pieces together, I think I'm just going to wear a really simple dress. That's the vibe I'm feeling today, and honestly, if I can just decide on something, I will take the opportunity to do so. So I'm gonna go with uh, this bad boy. Oh my god, how do people put on bracelets? Okay, there's one. This is what I'm going with. I know I have more rings somewhere, I just can't find them. So we're just going pretty simple with this. And then I want this necklace, but it's all tangled with these earrings. This is my nightmare. Okay, just kidding. It wasn't that bad. There we go. Very cute, very cute. I also wanna do some fun earrings. So here is my treasure trove of earrings. I, I think I'm leaning towards these big yellow ones. These are really speaking to me right now. So we're gonna go with these. So I'm at Target. I need to grab a couple of things. I need a bigger SD card for you. Um, I need to get an eyebrow pencil. Mine completely ran out, so I haven't been able to uh, do my eyebrows. And then my boyfriend asked for a couple of groceries, snacks, so I'm gonna grab those for him too. And we're gonna hopefully maybe see a Squishmallow in there. I don't know, probably not though. There's a Squishmallow. There's two of these. Petula. I'm not into the unicorn. She's a cute color, but yeah, that's all there is. Minecraft the bee lamp. It's also a sword. And Isabelle. These are so cute, but I don't have anywhere to put them. I just got back in the car. I don't know why I decided to do lipstick when I knew I was gonna wear a mask. It just, don't look at it. You're balancing on the steering wheel very precariously. Okay, you're good, you're good. I got chips. I got two of these because me and my boyfriend just, we eat a lot of chips. Then I got big Cheetos. I got him his Maduros that he wanted. I got a NYX brow pencil. This is a, a new one. I haven't really, I haven't tried a NYX brow pencil before. Hopefully it'll be good. I'm not good at brows. So as long as it makes me good at brows. And then I got the SD card that I needed. This bad boy was pricey. It's very fat. It's a fat SD card, but hopefully I shouldn't be running out of space because I always do. And it's so annoying. And then I got myself a drink because <laughs> your girl be thirsty. Oh my goodness. It's so nerve wracking. I couldn't film a lot in Target. I'm just scared. I'm a little baby, even though nobody cares, but it's, it's so nerve wracking. I want to go to Marshall's next because I keep seeing on TikTok that people find Hello Kitty stuff at Marshall's. 
So I'm gonna go to Marshall's and we're gonna go look for some Hello Kitty stuff, Sanrio stuff. And they also have Squishmallows occasionally. So I guess this is like a pseudo Squishmallow hunt. Um, but yeah, hopefully we find some cute stuff. So I will update you when we get there. In Marshall's, I decided to film with my phone instead of my camera. So please excuse the quality, but I thought this bag was kind of cute, little tote bag. And they had so many adorable, like little headbands to put on for when you're like washing your face or doing skincare or makeup or anything. Look at this one, little bunny ears, little like panda ears, more bunny ears. There were so many cute ones and like a little bear. So adorable, I had to resist, but I did find a Hello Kitty one and I was so excited about that. I was really happy I was able to find something even if it was just a simple headband, but I ended up getting that pink one, super duper cute. There was was a red one or white one but yeah i went with the pink one and then i always check the pet section just in case there's squishmallow pet toys but i didn't find them but i did find that cute little sloth and a pumpkin and these lion friend plushies were really cute as well and then i found this huge mermaid hello kitty plushie she was absolutely ginormous um she was only 20 dollars, but i didn't have the space and i don't really like mermaids so i just left her there for someone else to grab Okay, so we finished at Marshall's. I only ended up getting the one headband and now I'm at Goodwill. I'm gonna see if I can find anything today. Since I'm already out and buying stuff, might as well check. I also wanted to go to Five Below, but I drove there and then there was like people outside who like try to get you to sign up for something. So I just drove away <laughs> and now we're here. There's, I've already seen like four people walk in since I parked like a minute ago, so. We're gonna see. Apparently, Goodwill's really popular right now. But yeah, see you inside. <laughs> Sorry, this is blurry, but there was a little penguin pillow pet. There are a lot of pillow pets all the time at this Goodwill for some reason. So I'll show you more in a second. But then I also found all these cow plushies. They're very low quality. I don't know what these are from, but there was so many. I scooped up all of these in my hands and there was still more on the shelf that I just like couldn't hold in my arms. I don't know what the point of these are, where these are from, but there were so many. And then my luck just continued because I found a giant hello kitty plushie i can't believe it she was in such good condition for being at goodwill and i almost left her because i was like i don't have space but then i looked at the print her little jammies or whatever she's wearing and they were absolutely precious so i put her in the cart and then more pillow pets there were so many this time there was even more on the shelves that i didn't show you because i was like okay that's too many pillow pets and then found some cute little quirky lamps just thought i would show those really quick and Speaking of quirky, these quirky dishes, corn, I don't know what these are, but they were funny. And then I found some little Beanie Babies. I think these are from McDonald's. Yeah, there's a little McDonald's logo. And I thought they were really cool, like in these little book container, whatever. Um, I don't know if these are worth anything, if these are rare or anything, but I did end up putting them in my cart. I was still indecisive if I was going to get them or not, but they were in the dishes section. So I put them in my cart to at the very least put them back in the toy section. And then I hate when Goodwill does this. They put a Webkin's frog in this giant bag and you have to buy the whole bag. You can't just get them individually, but I totally would have bought this little dude, but it was in such a huge bag and I don't have the space for the rest of the plushies. So after checking home goods and the plushies and stuff i like to go for the dresses because i wear a lot of dresses they're really easy they're really fun you can have just a very easy outfit day like i did today where you just throw on a dress and you look put together and it's amazing it's source free and there was a couple of dresses that i almost got i almost got this red one i kind of liked it but i was like oh, it doesn't really have any shape it's gonna just make me look like a blob so i didn't pick it up i did only buy three pieces of clothing at goodwill but there's a lot of times when i would consider something so you will see a lot of the stuff that i like almost bought but didn't and i just put back on the rack so the first thing i bought was this dress i just thought it was so cute i was like this is definitely something that like a little thrifting YouTuber, like aesthetic YouTuber would definitely pick up and I didn't just buy it because of that. I actually liked it. I thought it was really cute and it had a really pretty shape and everything. And then I also found this dress. I don't know what it is. For some reason, it just caught my eye. I thought it was funny. And I saw this shirt. It kind of like had the same vibe as the dress, but I never wear dress shirts like this. I know a lot of people can style them really cutely, but I have just never 
ever done it so I was like you know what this will probably just sit in my closet so I left it there and then I moved on to the sweaters because I was kind of in the mood for like a grandma sweater I wanted like a cute little grandma cardigan and we had some contenders this polka dot one was really cute in really nice shape and good quality um, liked the polka dots it had pockets also but I just couldn't see myself wearing it even though it was really nice so I put it back. Also this blue striped sweater, very fun, oversized, really cute. But I don't know, just it, it wasn't the exact vibe, you know? And then I found this. It's not really a sweater but I was like, this is definitely grandma vibes, super cute. I was like, okay. Is this cute? Like, can I make this into something cute maybe? And I was really debating it because I really liked the embroidery on the front. I thought it was so like just fun and everything. As you can see, I was really, really debating it. I couldn't figure out what to do, but I did end up putting it in the cart and I did end up leaving it. So I'm sorry if you really liked it. I just thought it was funky, but I think it ended up being a little too funky for my taste, especially because it was short sleeved. And then right here are the second and third items that I picked up. I found this little like lightweight cardigan. It's very thin, which is good for me since I do live in a hot state. You know, thick cardigans and sweaters aren't really gonna do it for me. I need thinner stuff so I can wear them for more time. So I got this little like colorful cardigan. It's like this blue teal color. And then the edging has like that green. And then I found another one that was orange and purple and I shook it because I was so excited to find two. And yeah, I just really like how colorful and vibrant they are. And I think they're going to be great additions to my wardrobe. Also found this little sweater, but I didn't like the shade of pink. So I put it back and again, it was very bulky and thick. Found a little striped sweater moment, but not really vibing with it. Put it back. Found this yellow cardigan and I really like yellow, but as you can see, you can literally see through it, see the lights through it. It was way too thin. Found this little butterfly top. I thought it was cute. I really like stuff with butterflies on it, but again, not really my vibe and it was super wrinkly. And I try to stay away from fabrics that look very wrinkly and that could get very wrinkly because I just don't, I don't iron things. I don't have the time or the patience. That's all I ended up filming. I did look around a little bit longer, but my sister called me. So I stopped recording and I didn't find anything else anyway. So yeah, hope to enjoy this little footage. I think this is the luckiest Goodwill day I've ever freaking had. Oh my god. I'll show you the clothes at home, but not only did I find this massive girl, and do I have the space for this? No. Did I get her anyways? Yes. Like, how could I resist the back of her little shirt has freaking mushrooms on them? And like, Hello Kitty faces and butterflies and I don't know what this is, a little apple and a sun in her booty hole area. And she was $8. Which is, I mean, she's humongous. It's, it's good. And I put those Beanie Babies back, um, like the little McDonald's Germany ones. And when I went to go put them back, oops, either I didn't see this earlier or they just put it out. I found a, <laughs> I found a free, <laughs> stay. <laughs> okay. Well, that doesn't work. Um, I found a freaking Hello Kitty Build-A-Bear. What? And like, she's not like that Build-A-Bear material that I think of when I think of a Build-A-Bear. She's really soft and she's really heavy. And she was only three freaking dollars. What a day for Sanrio. What a day for Hello Kitty, am I right? Anyway, I have the AC off right now and I'm sweating and my lipstick is smudged everywhere because of my mask because I was in there for so long. Um, I'm gonna go home now. I have so much stuff in my car. I need to bring it all inside. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. There's so much stuff, but I will see you at home. I have to do actual responsibilities, which sucks. This was the fun part of the day, but now we have to go home. I just got home, took off my lipstick because it was a mess. Uh, the cats are already getting into everything that I bought, which is great. Peachy, say hello. Say hello, Peachy. Oh my goodness, look at you. You want to go get into all that stuff, don't you? Yes, you do. What are you looking at? Oh, that's what you're looking at. Hi. You want attention too? Jeez. <laughs> Aww. Okay, so I'm in my laundry room. I'm going to try to clean up these plushies a little bit. And I'm also going to wash everything that I bought today at Goodwill. Uh, the Build-A Bear has a lot of stains and it's just been very well loved. So I'm hoping I can get some out. If not, then 
it's fine. She was only like three dollars, but we're gonna try. I have some shout. I'm not a very I'm not a very good adult. I don't know how to like get stains out of stuff. So we're gonna try our best. So Miss Build a Bear here. I don't know if you can see everything. Her bow, the Velcro has a lot of like gunk on it. That's why it won't stick. Um, I literally saw paint. Yeah, this ear has like paint on it. She just has a lot of like I don't know. <laughs> She's just a little gross. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to be mean to you, but you're a little disgusting. Okay, so I'm. I don't. How do you use this? To be honest, I'm just gonna spray it like all over her because it's pretty bad. Pepper. Pepper keeps opening the door. Good sir, I'm spraying stuff in here. Why do you want to be in here? Look at this devious face. Okay. He's getting kicked out though. I don't want to accidentally spray him with shout. And honestly, even if I ruin her with this stuff, um, it's fine. She was only three dollars. It was just from the thrift store. I'm trying my best. Um, anyone who actually knows how to do laundry in the comments, don't come at me. I may be using way too much stain remover. Just leave me alone. Okay, I'm gonna use a rag to like rub in the shout. I just hope that this paint comes out. The paint is like the worst because that's like disgusting and like dried on. It's still there. I don't know. Maybe it'll come off in the washer. I hope so. I just cannot believe I found her. She has another stain. Like I never find anything good in thrift stores. You don't understand. <laughs> you don't understand the pain I go through. Okay, I'm gonna let that one sit. And then now we're gonna work on this one. This one has a different material. It's not fuzzy. And I just noticed she has a big stain on her little foot. So she's not that bad. Just a stain on her foot and like a general wash, I think is what she needs. I'm gonna cut off the tags of everything also and get a load of laundry started here. So just a little, just another look because I haven't looked at the footage yet. I don't know how well I showed these clothes in Goodwill, but this is the only dress that I picked up. It's so cute. I really like it. I actually hope it fits me because it looks like extremely small in the waist. It does have a zipper, um, so I hope I can <laughs> fit into it. But this is from Express. It was $7.49, which is about what my Goodwill likes to price their dresses at, even the really ugly ones. So I have a little bit of a problem with that, but this one I feel like was worth it. A lot of other dresses are not worth it to me. And then the other two things that I got were this colorful sweater. It's from, I think this is JCPenney. It says JCP. Um, and I think this is a petite large. I think that's what PL means. And I just like it because the colors, I'm trying to add more like solid but colorful pieces, right? So like this is pretty much solid. It just has the little, like the, the edging piece is a different color, which I really like actually. That just makes it like so cute to me. And that was $4.19, so it's still cheaper than the actual store, so I'll take it. And then I got, you know, this is like the same as that one. It is green, but it has this like lime greeny hem around it. So I think that's really cute. And it also has it on the sleeves, which I really like. And same for the other one. And this one is the same brand, JCPenney, but this one is large, like a regular large. And it was the same price. It was $4.19. I'm going to throw everything in and then I'm going to get a snack and then I'm going to go edit because I have a lot of editing to do. And then it'll probably be time for dinner really, really soon. So I will see you in a second. I will let you know what my snack is and I don't know how much I'll show of my editing or what, but yeah, uh, bye. Get, bye. Okay, I'm finally at my computer for the day and I changed back into comfy clothes. I got my PMP merch shirt on. Uh, if you would like one of these, merch link is down below in the description. We have these and I have other designs. Uh, just, just look at it. Just look at it. But I am going to just uh, sit for a second. <laughs> um, I have a snack. I have some... Why did I almost call these Cheerios? I have goldfish and I have two little banana muffins that I made. So that is going to be my snack. And to celebrate all my Hello Kitty plushies that I found, um, I got this for my water. So yeah, I'm going to edit. I have a lot of editing to do. 
I've been procrastinating it, that's why I went to so many stores, so I'm gonna get to editing and then I'm just gonna edit until my boyfriend comes home from the gym and then we're gonna make dinner. I don't know if I'll record dinner or if this is the end, but thanks for sticking with me so far. I'm going to eat these snacks and click the mouse and the keyboard and do some stuff. It's gonna be great. <laughs> So I did not end up filming my dinner after this, so you can just imagine it. I made homemade crunch wraps. I make them all the time. They are 10 out of 10. Amazing. Just as good, if not better than Taco Bell's. But I also wanted to say that filming this vlog, editing this vlog, the whole process has been so refreshing for me and so enjoyable and so fun. I really just it was a nice break from Animal Crossing stuff. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. I really feel like this video has been like kind of almost self-care for me. It's been really nice, really, really nice. Okay, so it's a lot later, as you can tell. It is nighttime now, just finished dinner, and we watched two episodes of Dr. Stone. That's the anime we've been watching lately, and I just took them out of the dryer, and they're looking better. This one had a spot on the foot, and it's gone. I don't even know or remember which one it was on. It's like it was never there which is good and I don't really see any other spots on her. She seems like really clean. So she's good to go. Meanwhile, Miss Built-A-Bear, the bow still doesn't want to stay on, but it is a little bit better. It'll stick for like a second there. But yeah, I think she does look a lot cleaner. Overall, she is cleaner. The only thing is the paint still has not come out. It's still there on her ear and it's near her nose somewhere. It's very faint and like she has this little dimple right here. I don't know. She's still got a couple of things here and there, but overall she was only $3 so I still love her. So this is my holy trinity of thrifted Hello Kitty plushies. Um, it's going great so far. I, I love them all and I hope to find more that I don't have the space for. But with that, I think I'm going to be done recording for the day. So this is going to be the end of the vlog slash video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you like this style of video. Hopefully it was interesting. Um, if you liked a specific part of this video, like if maybe you liked the thrifting part a lot or you liked the part where I was like shopping in the stores or I, just plushies in general, then let me know. I'd totally be down to create just like pure thrifting videos or pure shopping videos. I do go to stores occasionally, so that would be totally fine. Or squishmallow hunting, anything like that. Let me know, give me some feedback on this video. It's totally different from what I usually do, so I would like to know how you felt about it. But yeah, I'm gonna head out. I still have a lot of editing to do, so yeah, there's nothing else for me to film. I'm just gonna be editing for the rest of the night, which sucks. But you gotta do what you gotta do, right? It's the job. And uh, once again, if you would like some peach and pepper merch, description box down below, merch link, check it out. And uh, all of my socials and anything about me will be in the description box below, so check it out. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.